Can scientists explain how futuristic-looking tech somehow ended up in ancient ruins? No, they cannot. Can we explain how things that seem like they belong in the year 3025 were found next to dino bones and stone tools? No, we can't either, but we're going to have a ridiculous amount of fun showing them to you anyway. From gear-shaped fossils to carvings that look suspiciously like space shuttles, here are the 15 most mysterious ancient technologies scientists still can't explain the WH, why, and how of. Let's begin the countdown with Number 15. The Astrolabe Have you ever just looked at the stars and thought, I want to measure those? Well, we also, but we can't. But ancient astronomers actually did that, and they built this thing to do it. Astrolabe isn't just some dusty old circle, it's a handheld universe. A rotating map of the sky, designed by people who didn't have Google but still figured out how to calculate the height of the sun. It's got this flat base called a mater, and this spinny top part called the reet, and when you move it around, boom, you're basically Galileo. Sailors used it to figure out where they were in the middle of nowhere, priests used it to know when to pray, math nerds used it to show off. And yes it worked. This thing was predicting eclipses before Newton was even born. The craziest part, nobody really knows who made the very first one. It just kind of appeared. Like someone left it behind. Like a cosmic calculator from the past that's smarter than half the tech we've got now. Number Catorsa. Da Vinci Sits Tank. Leonardo da Vinci made flying machines in his notebook and drew babies inside wombs with more detail than a modern textbook. But when he tried to build a tank, the thing wouldn't even move. On paper, it looks wild like a giant armored turtle on wheels, with cannons sticking out in every direction. A spiky death shell of Renaissance doom. But here's the crazy twist, the gears, they're backward. It cancels itself out. If you push the wheels forward, they go back. Now even China can't do that. Some think he messed it up on purpose like he knew that giving humans a mobile death shell was maybe not the best idea. And honestly, that tracks. This was a guy who was 400 years too early for his own brain. The man painted the Mona Lisa and designed weapons he hoped no one could build. The tank never rolled an inch, but it still freaks people out because if even da Vinci couldn't trust us with his own ideas, maybe he was right. Number 13. Machu Picchu Sets, Three Windows. Machu Picchu's sacred plaza holds a structure with three windows, simple, precise, and utterly puzzling. They face east, just enough to catch the morning sun, and they weren't thrown in for ventilation. The Incas didn't do random things. Some say the windows symbolize the mythical birthplace of the Inca people. Others believe they connect to Manco Capac, a legendary ruler said to have descended from the heavens. According to native chronicles, he ordered a temple with three windows to honor his divine origin. So now the question becomes, were these windows literal or spiritual doorways to the realm beyond? Well, some astronomers think they might have aligned with celestial events, the Incas might have tracked light through them like an ancient lens, casting shadows, marking seasons, mapping time in a way we haven't cracked yet. What we see is just a stone wall, but what they saw was a cosmic instrument. One small structure, three perfectly placed windows, and an entire civilization's mystery etched into sunrise. Number 12. The Aztec Mountain Calendar. The Aztecs didn't just build temples and sacrifice people, well they did a lot, but they also made a farming calendar so accurate, it still confuses modern historians. And the weird part? They didn't write it. They lived it. They used mountains with M. They positioned themselves in the same spot every day and watched where the sun rose between specific peaks. From that alone, they could track seasons, predict planting times, and even adjust for leap years. Meanwhile, Spain's biggest city back then had like 50,000 people. The Aztecs fed over 3 million, no satellites, no paper maps, just sunrises and stone. This wasn't a calendar you held, it was one you stood inside. 
When the Spanish arrived, they couldn't believe what they saw. Because while Europe was fumbling through famines, the Aztecs were sinking with solar geometry like it was no big deal. Nobody talks about this, but the fact that they turned a valley into a working observatory, that's genius. Straight up ancient genius with zero hype. Number 1. Ancient Crystal Tech You don't have to believe in crystal healing to admit it's been around longer than most belief systems. Plato mentioned it when talking about Atlantis, describing a civilization that used crystals to send thoughts, telepathy with gemstones, just a regular Tuesday in lost history. But the idea goes even further back. The Sumerians, some 6,500 years ago, used crystals in their magical formulas. Egyptians buried their dead with lapis lazuli, not just for flair but as spiritual armor. Greeks believed amethyst could stop hangovers, and Native American hopus still use crystals for diagnosing illness. Modern skeptics dismiss it as superstition, but for thousands of years people across every continent treated these stones like tools, not trinkets. That kind of longevity usually means something. Maybe it's all a myth, maybe it's a placebo, or maybe it's one of those things our ancestors understood that we've unlearned on purpose. Well science hasn't cracked it, but the timeline alone suggests this wasn't some fringe obsession. It was a world-spanning system built on belief, and maybe more. What do you think about it? Let us know. Number 10. Democritus and the Atom John Dalton got the credit for discovering the atom in the 1800s, but Democritus would have rolled his eyes. The man lived over two millennia earlier and casually proposed that everything is made of tiny, indivisible units he called atomos. He figured that if you keep cutting something in half, eventually you'd hit a point where it couldn't be cut anymore. No microscope. No particle accelerator. It was just logic and vibes. He didn't stop there. He believed that these atoms made up the universe, obeyed strict laws, and that free will didn't exist. That's right. He not only beat physicists to the atom, he also crash-landed in the middle of the determinism debate before it even existed. And the fact that we kept the name, that's not accidental. It's a nod to a guy who guessed the structure of the universe with zero tools and no data, just a brain that was clearly doing overtime in 400 BC. Imagine what he'd say if he saw a Hadron Collider, or James Webb. Number 9. Ancient Gilding Modern gold plating relies on electricity, chemicals, and machines. 2,000 years ago, people did it better with mercury and their bare hands. Gilding wasn't just decoration, it was deception, currency, and flex. Ancient artisans in Egypt, Turkey, Iran, and Europe knew how to coat bronze, wood, or stone with gold so flawlessly that it fooled kings and collectors alike. They used mercury as a bonding agent, painting it on before applying the gold leaf, and they weren't shy about it, criminals especially. Some items were covered so skillfully that they passed for solid gold and fetched a king's ransom. We wouldn't dare use mercury that way now, it's too toxic. But back then, it was standard. It wasn't just craft, it was science disguised as art, and it was totally fine. Thousands of these gilded relics survive. They're so convincing that even modern restorers sometimes get tricked. So next time someone says ancient people were primitive, point them to a coin that's faking its way through history better than any forgery today. Number 8. The Lahoon Mathematical Papyrus. Flinders Petrie didn't expect to stumble on a math class from 1900 BC when he was digging at El Lahoon. But tucked among the Cahoon papyri was something strange, a set of ancient Egyptian math problems that still holds up today. It's broken into six fragments but the work is sharp. Arithmetic, geometry and algebra all laid out like they were prepping for a university entrance exam. There are multiplication tables that go way past what most modern schools teach. And everything's laid out cleanly, like someone wanted to make sure the formulas survived. This wasn't just dusty bookkeeping, it's likely that kids were learning from this worker families being trained to handle measurements planning, maybe early forms of architectural drafting. 
Thousands of years before we had the concept of standardized education, someone already understood that math wasn't just useful, it was power. The real kicker? Their answers are mostly right. We double-checked, and if that doesn't blow your perception of ancient intelligence, nothing will. Number 7. The 12. 000 year old nuke theory. In the middle of India, there's a desert with a crater and a theory so wild it makes most historians walk the other way. Some believe a nuclear blast happened there 12,000 years ago, and not just a one-off. They say up to half a million people died. The theory leans on ancient texts, the Ramayana and Mahabharata, which describe weapons that sound eerily modern. One of them exploded with the light of 10,000 suns. Afterward, birds fell from the sky. Pottery shattered. Hair and nails turned white. It's poetic. It's dramatic. And it's not entirely easy to dismiss. Skeptics chalk it up to metaphor or ancient exaggeration. But even they can't ignore that the region has radiation anomalies and a physical crater with no official origin story. So was it an ancient war? A cosmic misunderstanding? Or just the best science fiction ever written in 900 BC? Whatever the answer the ideas stuck around, probably because part of it doesn't feel like fiction at all. Number 6. The Roswell Rock. About 20 miles from where the infamous Roswell UFO story supposedly unfolded, someone stumbled across a rock in 2004 that refuses to be just a rock. It's small, perfectly smooth, carved with symmetrical lunar-like patterns, and for some reason, it messes with magnets. Place one above its thick end, it spins clockwise. Hover it over the thinner end, it turns the other way. Naturally, it's been linked to all kinds of theories, especially since the markings resemble symbols found in crop circles across North America. The most grounded experts still call it a hoax, but there's one problem, no one can figure out how it was made. Not even under a microscope, no tool marks, no abrasions, not even the slightest surface scratch. If someone made it, they didn't leave behind a single fingerprint. It's silent. Mysterious. And despite everyone wanting to write it off as a novelty, it sits there spinning like it knows something, and just isn't telling. Number 5. The Inca Seps Secret Science Lab. At first glance, Tipone looks like a high-end landscaping project, a series of immaculate terraces carved into a mountainside near Cusco, with spring-fed canals cutting across green steps like some kind of ancient Zen garden. But behind its beauty is something far more brilliant. This wasn't just a farming space, it was a full-scale agricultural laboratory. The Incas didn't build it just to grow food. They used it to figure out which crops thrived at which altitudes, in which microclimates, and under what watering conditions. The different levels were essentially test beds, where they could simulate environments from across the Andes and beyond. Some researchers, including Peruvian scholar Dr. Luis Antonio, even argue that the Incas may not have been its original builders, that it could have been the legacy of an even older civilization with a deep understanding of hydraulics and ecological design. Either way, whoever built Tipone understood water, gravity, and farming science so well that the systems still work perfectly to this day. Number 4. Ali Kapu Music Hall Tucked inside the stunning architecture of the Ali Kapu Palace in Isfahan is something that has no right existing in the 1600s, a perfectly engineered sound system. This was the Persian Empire's idea of a music hall, but instead of relying on grand acoustics or echo for drama, it does the exact opposite. The walls are doubled, and within them are dozens of carved niches shaped like vases. They aren't just pretty, they're sound diffusers. The design swallows echo and distributes sound evenly across the room, so a single clap or string of a setar could reach every corner without bouncing off the marble or turning to static. There's no reverb, no distortion, just clean rich tones delivered in real time without a wire or amp in sight. Musicians played live, and every note hit the crowd like it was meant to. No tech, no trickery just an understanding of sound that took modern audio engineers centuries to catch up to. Number 3. The Antikythera Mechanism 
It was pulled from a Greek shipwreck like a crusty, broken-up piece of junk. But when they looked closer, it had gears. Dozens of them, interlocking, complex, absurdly precise. And that made zero sense because this thing was built over 2,000 years ago when most people were still figuring out how to map a straight line. What it actually is, nobody fully agrees on. But it acts like a mechanical solar system, an ancient device that could predict eclipses, track planets, even follow the moon's phases. That kind of engineering, it didn't show up again for more than a thousand years. Not in Europe, not anywhere. And no, this isn't one of those we think it was this theories. They x-rayed it, they modeled it, they even built replicas. And every time, it just gets weirder. Whoever made it had knowledge that was supposed to be centuries away. The strangest part, we've never found another one. One machine, one mind, then silence. Number Tsui, Zhang Hengsit's seismoscope. We've talked a lot about this thing. This world's first earthquake detector looked like a fancy beer keg surrounded by dragon heads. But no joke, that's what Zhang Heng built back in ancient China. Each dragon held a ball in its mouth. Below them, a circle of toads with their mouths wide open. When an earthquake hit, it didn't matter if it was near or far. One of the balls dropped straight into a toad's mouth, making a sound that let people know something big had just moved underground. It worked. Not only did it detect quakes that couldn't be felt, but it also pointed in the direction they came from. No wires, no electricity, just perfect balance, raw physics and a guy who understood motion better than most people do today. It's honestly beautiful, not just in design, but in how simple and clever it is. And the best part? Scientists still don't fully know how it worked. Zhang didn't over-explain it, he just built it let it drop a few jaws, and moved on. Number 1. Duomo Sets Painted Secrets Everyone thought the statues on the Duomo in Florence were just white. Elegant, sure, but plain. That's how they were always seen. Until someone finally decided to give them a proper cleaning. Under centuries of soot and weather, they found color. Actual paint. Not little chips. Full patterns. Shading. Blues. Reds. Golds. Turns out, Madonna and Child with Adoring Angels was wearing a detailed robe this whole time, not just marble skin. Nobody knew. For 650 years, that changes everything. What else are we misjudging as pure marble when it's just filthy history? Now experts think the whole cathedral might have been a kaleidoscope once, a riot of color under all that dignified grayscale. And honestly, that hits different. People assumed the statues were made to be white, because that's how they looked. But nope, they were just wearing 650 years of dust. Art historians are now eyeing every clean statue in Florence like it's hiding something, and maybe they all are. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one.